Rainbow Dash! One day at Nafford Station, Thomas was grumbling to the other engines because he never gets the chance to pull a train on the main line and was a little green with envy. It's not fair, I tell ya. I spend all my time pulling coaches about, ready for you bigger engines to take on grand journeys. But like always, the other engines just laughed at him. But the equestrian ponies did not like this sort of behavior at all. This made Thomas even more cross. I don't get it. Why can't I pull passenger trains like the rest of all of you? Then Gordon gave the answer that was hurtful but true. You're too impatient, little Thomas. You'd be sure to leave something behind. Oh, that's rubbish. Just you wait. I'll show you. Later that night, he and Henry were alone at Tidmouth Sheds. Henry was ill. Fluttershine the workman worked their hardest to make him better, but nothing worked. He felt even worse by next morning. Henry and Fluttershy usually pulled the first train of the day, and Thomas and Twilight had to get their coaches ready. If Henry is still ill, perhaps I should pull his train in his place. Minutes later, he and Twilight ran off to Napford Station to collect the coaches. Come on, Twilight. No time for delays. Slow down, Thomas. There's still plenty of time. Thomas took them to the platform and wanted to run around in front right away. But Twilight wouldn't let him. Don't be impatient, Thomas. So Thomas waited calmly. After the people got on board, the conductor and station master walked up and down the platform, and as the porter slammed the doors, and still Henry didn't come, Thomas was growing more and more excited. Sir Toppin Hat came out of his office to see what was the matter and the conductor, station master, and Twilight told him about Henry. Hmm. We can't rush repairs on Henry anyway. We need to make sure he stays 100% better for him to work. So find another engine to take his place. I'm afraid Thomas is the only engine available, sir. You and Twilight will have to do it then, Thomas. Be quick now. So Thomas ran round to the front and back toward the coaches, ready to start. Let's not be impatient, Thomas. We'll wait until everything is ready. But Thomas was too excited to listen. What happened next? No one knows. Perhaps they forgot to couple Thomas to the train. Or perhaps Twilight pulled the regulator by mistake. Anyway, Thomas started without his coaches. And as he passed the first signal box, men waved and shouted at him, but he didn't stop. Hmm, they're waving because I'm such a splendid tank engine. You know, Twilight, Henry says it's hard to pull trains, but I think it's easy. Passenger train coming through! People have never seen me pulling a train before, Twilight, and I think it's nice of them to wave at us. Then they came to a signal outside Wellsworth and was set at danger. Oh bother! I must stop here. And I was going so nicely too. 
signals can be so annoying these days. Hey, if this railway didn't have signals, we'd have more delays than ever. Remember that. But Thomas just groaned. After waiting a couple of minutes, he blew an angry peep peep on his whistle. Then a worker came out of a nearby signal box to see what the commotion was. Hello, Thomas. What are you and Twilight doing here? We're pulling Henry's train. Can't you see? Okay, then. If you were pulling Henry's train, then where are your coaches? Wait, what? So when Thomas looked back, he was shocked. <gasps> well, bust my boiler. We left our passengers behind. Oh, no, oh, no. Not now. I knew this would happen one of these days. Yes, I agree. You two better go back quickly and fetch them. Poor Thomas was so sad, he nearly cried. It's okay, Thomas. Let's just go back quickly and try again. Back at Knapford Station, all the passengers were arguing at once. They were telling Sir Top and Hat what a bad railway it was. But when Thomas and Twilight came back and saw how sad they were, they couldn't be crossed for long. He was coupled to the train and this time he really pulled it with great ease. For a short time afterwards, the other engines would laugh at Thomas and say, Look, there's Thomas who wanted to pull a train, but forgot about the coaches. But because of that experience, Thomas already learned that he will never make the same mistake ever again.